Welcome to day, Brian, what's going on there? All right, welcome to day 183 of our DSO journey. I'm Ed Krasenstein here with my twin brother, Brian, who is in Wisconsin, is that right? Yep, we're in uh, Wisconsin right now. Are you milking cows? No, not yet, at least, maybe in a little bit. Yeah, so the news today, uh, Natter, He's going to be on a Discord tonight at 6 p.m. Pacific time, 9 p.m. Eastern time. It's the Pulse Discord with uh, Nick. Nick from Pulse, I believe, is going to be hosting it. And I'm excited for that. You know, I, I actually have a birthday dinner with my wife tonight. I'm not sure if I'm going to make it back in time, but I hope so. Uh, but, I mean, he's, it's a town hall style. He's taking questions if you go to Natter's profile on BitCloud. And reply to his post about the about the town hall. You can ask him questions, and they're going to ask those questions to him in order of diamonds. So, like the ones that have the most diamonds are going to be the ones that are going to be the questions that he's asked. So it's going to be interesting. It's like the first you know communication between Natter as Natter, a real person, and the Big Cloud community or the DSO community, I should say. Yeah, and. I just checked and I think uh, Raj Lahodi's question is probably the top one right now. It has like 60 diamonds. He asked a few questions actually about decentralization and some other things. So that's going to be asked. I put a question in there. I think I could have spent a little more time and put maybe a better question, but uh, maybe it'll be asked. Um, I, I think it's an awesome idea. But it shows that he's listening. And uh, I mean, he just came out like what, five, eight, four days ago. So it, it is pretty big. And the fact that he's doing this already shows that he's really concerned about the community's uh, community's issues and and whatever else. Yeah, and you know, like we've seen, it's like the community has really embraced him so far, at least. And we've seen the price of BitCloud be reflected. I guess I should say, the price of DSO be reflected by this announcement of DSO, the DSO Foundation, and Natter. Diamond Hands unveiling himself is going from approximately, I think it was around $76 at the time of the announcement. It jumped all the way up to a, over $120 yesterday. And right now, at the time we're making this video, it's at about $108.50. So, you know, the crypto community, the big club com slash DSO community have really embraced these announcements. And I think they're really excited about them. And, you know, the price is up a lot. I mean, we can expect it to kind of, pop, you know, it's not just going to go up in a straight line. We're going to see it waver. We're going to see it have its lulls. But um, we have more news that's going to be coming. You know, it's going to be kind of like a continuous chain of news, I think, when the front end is released, when the referral program comes out, that's when we're going to see an influx of new users. When the fuel's pulled, poured on the fire, it's going to bring a bunch of people into the, I want to do BitCloud and I want to do DSO. So it's hard to imagine the price really falling too much, especially with the pending Coinbase listing. It, DSO is coming to Coinbase. We know that as, for a fact. And when it does, it's going to expose essentially the entire crypto space to DSO for the first time. Yeah, I, I mean, there's going to be a steady stream of good news. Uh, we've seen over the last like three or four days, the entire crypto market drop anywhere from like five to 10%, uh, while Bit the price of DSO has gone up like 75, 80%. So it's, it's definitely bucking the trend. And I think that's because we're getting such good news. And like you said, I, I don't see too many, too many headwinds in the near future. And I see a lot of tailwinds. I think there's going to be a lot of uh, positive stories coming out over the course of the next one or two months. Yeah, and I mean, maybe some of this is already priced into it. You know, the expectations of the front end and the referral program, the Coinbase listing, a lot of that could be already priced into the price of DSO. But at the same time, I feel like a very small percentage of the crypto world is actually aware of DSO right now. So it's hard to think it can be priced in that much so far. Yeah, and like, that first day after the change to DSO, I saw over a million dollars of DSO coin purchased on bitcloud.com. Yesterday, it was about 330,000. 
uh, a typical day before that was anywhere from like 30 to 50,000. So we're, a lot of people are buying it on bitcloud.com and that's transferring over to blockchain as they have to replenish their reserves. Yeah. So, I mean, I think that's pretty much all the news. We do have a shout, some shout outs to give, right, Brian? Yeah, you got that list? Yeah, let me bring it up right here. We have some shout outs for our NFT that we did yesterday. Let me put my glasses on because I'm kind of far from my computer. And the shout outs are to Cloud Rocks, Cyrus Abraham, he's doing so much for the community, and BitCloud underscore FR. All great people, all, you know, all doing great things on BitCloud. And they want our NFT. We had a, we had a um, what's the word? Utility. Utility. NFT. Yeah. And they were the three winners. So we give them shout outs. And we will also be tagging them in the post when I make the post of this video. Yeah. And I, I just want to thank them for participating and uh, we'll do other utility NFTs as well. I think now that we can are going to be able to transfer NFTs for free, I think that kind of opens some cool, cool things up that we can try. So looking forward to that as well. Yeah, for sure. I think that'll be a great place to end on day 183 of our DSO journey. Still doesn't sound right, no, but it is what it is. <laughs>